Hello, getting straight into it, aiming for a sci-fi or mechanical looking piece. I'm going to be using the subdivision workflow here. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link to my short explanation video at the end. But for now, let's see if we can make something cool. This is just a practice. If you were making this for your portfolio, your first steps would be gathering reference images. But for this, I just want to keep it quite fluid, so I'm just going to model it and have some fun. Nothing complicated so far. Uh, loop cuts and moving adding a mirror modifier, extruding out some height, scale zero on the z-axis to straighten up the edge. Then joining the bottom to the top with bridge edges to make it a volume. Adding some additional loop cuts to give more geometry to work with once the overall shape is established, insetting and extruding this detail on the side. In the middle, deleting some faces to make a cut through, I think this side piece would look better at an angle, so rotating it on the y-axis, then snapping it level with the central piece. On the side, insetting and pushing it out with the depth slider. In the middle detail, I want to add some support geometry, but first I need to apply the mirror to make life easier. I can always re-edit at any point. Let's get subdivision on there and shade smooth so we can start putting in support loops. You'll see me doing this a lot for the rest of the video. If the surrounding geometry isn't even when I place the loops, the majority of the time I will then press E to make it even. If needed, F to flip which side. If it's an even area, you can add one loop cut and then bevel it. Removing the center loops before insetting. Next, adding some detail to these side pieces. If you were doing this for any kind of professional work or your portfolio, you'd want to add your detail in a very specific places, generally concentrating it in the same areas to give you a balance of clear and busy areas, otherwise it just ends up looking cluttered and overdone. When you look at real world objects, especially anything electric, it generally has an overall form that is smooth and then small areas of high detail where the functional parts are. Adding extra edge loops, just sometimes to have more detail to work with. On this front piece, I insert and extrude out a section. I want to make it look like something attaches there, like a scope perhaps. Insert and delete the middle faces to make a channel for something. Reattach the geometry, then again support loops to keep the shading nice. On the back section, I want some cylindrical details now. Using loop tools that comes with Blender, just enable it in the add-ons. I can select faces and hit circle, scale it, inset for support loop, and then extrude it in. Scale 0 on the y-axis and move it back, inset it again for support, and then extra edge loops. Next, I duplicate the back, back faces and separate them before extruding it out. Another inset and circle, inset, extrude inwards, same process as before. Then duplicate and extrude out again. The bracket we modelled earlier is not quite right. We can adjust it or redo it. Here I cut to a new version, making a curved channel for this rod or barrel to sit in. More support loops to keep the shape from rounding out, not forgetting to remirror as I've been working just on one side for a while. To make this part more interesting, we can scale it on the y-axis and snap it forward, giving it a nice curve at the back, then, then again support loops to keep the shape. Extruding this part over the barrel, there are better ways of doing this, but just doing it quick for now. Adding a hole in the end of the barrel, next adding some circular details in the back and adjusting the form slightly. Over the top of the barrel, chamfering these edges, insetting and extruding for this detail, Inset in and extruding for some holes to make it look like this, these parts are screwed on. Lastly, making sure everything is mirrored, adding some final support loops to the barrel and extruding this section along its normals. To finish off, I gave it some quick materials and took a render. Thanks for watching. If this was a bit of you, please give me a subscribe, like and leave any questions or comments below.